Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about line, shape, color, and pattern. We're going to start with line. Did you know that line is like a dot that's going for a walk? So when that line goes for a walk, that, wa that line, that little dot can walk in a straight line. That little dot can walk curved. Think about outside when you're walking. That line can go zigzag. That line can walk in loops. This line can skip. So a line is a dot that goes for a walk and you just kind of decide what direction and how is that line going to walk. A shape. Now we all know basic shapes. A shape is created by making a line reconnect with one another. So we have two different types of shapes. We have geometric shapes and we have what's called organic shapes. Geometric shapes, I'm gonna put a little line here. Geometric shapes are like your circle and your square and your triangle and a diamond, or a heart, or a rectangle, or a star. These are called, oh, that's not a very good star, but you get my point. These are called geometric shapes, okay? They're kind of like your math shapes, geometric shapes. Organic shapes are kind of like a tree, okay? Organic shapes don't fit into a circle, square, triangle category. It might be a blob or a rock or a piece of grass. These are all considered organic shapes. A cloud is considered an organic shape. So if you take a look around your house, I bet you would be able to find some shapes that are geometric. So if I look right at my table here, I'm and I'm doing this, this is kind of off the cuff. So here, what kind of shape is that? Hopefully, that goes in the geometric. What about this one? Does that fit into a circle, square, triangle category? Nope, that's organic. What about this? That would be geometric. And what about this? That might be organic. This one's a little bit trickier because look at this is a shape in that it's round, but this is actually a form. So this is a circle, just like you did if you did the soup can, you would recognize this as being a cylinder. This is a form, but it's based off of a shape. So this would go into this category. And here's another one. Even though it looks like it's rectangle, it's actually organic. So it would go on this side, okay? So anyway, that's how you know the difference. So take a look and start noticing around your house, what are things that are geometric and organic? The next one is color. We can use color. So we have yellow, orange, I'm just gonna do circles because it's easy and fast, orange, red, and we have all sorts of different colors. I'm kind of going in order, kind of on the color wheel, violet, then we would have blue, and we would have green, or blue-green, then we would have green, and there's lots of other colors in here. And then this would end, actually, if you're doing the color wheel with the primary and secondary colors, you'd be back to yellow again. So, and then the next thing we have is a pattern, okay? Now there's different types of patterns, and I wanna talk about the different types of patterns. We have a pattern that is an A, B pattern. So it might be a circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. A, B, A, B, A, B. We might have a pattern that is an, whoops, an A, B, B pattern. Well, what would that look like? Let's do something different. Triangle, 
circle, circle. Triangle, circle, circle. That would be an A, B, B pattern. A, B, B pattern. We could also have an A, B, C pattern. And an A, B, C pattern could also include lines. So I could have A, B, C. A, B, C. So I'm incorporating line, I'm incorporating shape, I could also incorporate color. What if we did something more complex? What if we did an A, A, B, C pattern? This might look like squiggly line, squiggly line, square, triangle, squiggly line, squiggly line, square, triangle. Now, if I were keeping this pattern, these lines would also have to be the same. So my A color, my A would have to be the same color. My B would have to be the same color because I'm keeping it in a pattern. And my C would have to be the same color. So the project that we are going to be doing is going to be using lines, shape, color, and pattern. So be on the lookout for the next video. So you've just learned lots about line, shape, color, and pattern. And all of these things can be used when creating art.